the channel, it's time, it's time, it's Vader time as we unbox Vader from the WWE Mattel Royal Rumble Elite 2023 wave. Welcome back to the channel for another WWE Mattel Royal Rumble Elite Wave unboxing and review. And today from the 2023 wave, we've got Vader. But remember, for all your Vader, Royal Rumble, WWE, AEW wrestling figure needs, make sure you're hitting up ringside collectibles. Use discount code KYLE to save yourself 10%. And of course, we're going to do this review like we do all the other reviews on the channel. We're going to take a look at the packaging. We're going to talk about it. We're going to unbox it. We're going to talk about it. We're going to see where it goes from there. And we've got the man they call Vader here today. Of course, I'm a little biased. I love me some Vader. Uh, my favorite big man of all time. I followed Vader, of course. We talked about it in other Vader unboxings. Way back when he debuted from WCW with the big Mastodon helmet, putting it down in the smoke. I mean, I just could not believe what my little kid eyes saw. Uh, I loved him till the end of his wrestling career, I guess. I absolutely loved his All Japan, New Japan matches way back in the day. Uh, just Vader, a phenomenal, phenomenal athlete. And something that's really missing in wrestling today is the big, agile, big man, the Bam Bam Bigelows of the world. Even the one-man gang, Akeem, I mean, he got around pretty good for being a guy about six foot nine, six ten, whatever he was. And of course, Vader. But I'm excited, always happy to have another Vader. And this Vader, we know a lot about it, but we got a few little changes and a few little differences with this one that we're going to talk about. And of course, we'll do some Vader comparisons later on in this video. So without further ado, let's take a look at the packaging. Of course, it's a brand new Royal Rumble packaging. I really do like these pay-per-view sets uh, with the different packaging to make them stand out, look a little bit more special. And that's what we got with the Royal Rumble packaging right here. WWE logo, Elite logo, Royal Rumble at the top. The man they call Vader, of course, Vader right there. And, of course, Bill Doc Hendricks. There he is. It's Vader time, as you can tell right there on the side. And then on this side, you got the Royal Rumble, Elite, Vader, True Effects, Certified Authentic, all that fun stuff. And on the back of the package, there it is, Vader, a little glamour shot. You got the tail of the tape. Got the blur, but we got the big cross sell. Of course, we're unboxing every single one of these guys on the channel, so make sure you subscribe. Don't forget to hit subscribe and hit the old notification bell. Uh, you don't want to miss one of these. And then at the end of the week, we're going to rank the entire wave, and we're going to build Doc Hendricks, a very exciting-looking build a figure I'm here for. Without further ado, let's see what it says about old Vader on the back of the package. From the Rocky Mountains. Oh, I love the Rocky Mountains. Beautiful this time of year. I've never been, but I'm sure it is. I'm sure it is. Height, six foot five, 450 pounds. Finisher, of course, the Vader Bomb. Career highlights, WCW World Heavyweight Champion, WCW United States Champion. And I think most of us agree his time in WCW was a lot uh, more superior than his time in the WWE. Uh, let's see, the Mastodon debuted at Royal Rumble 1996, letting everyone in the WWE Universe know it's time, it's time, it's Vader time, and you kind of have to use that as the uh, copyright there, I mean, it just, it writes itself, as they say, it writes itself, beautiful, beautiful background, I'm here for it, I love it, off to the races, see you later, goodbye, now we get Vader, the old plastic prison, you know I love a big figure, and there's old Vader. We got the extra hands. Then we got the Doc Hendricks torso piece. Uh, true story, I heard he ripped Doc Hendricks torso in half and they had to surgically put him back together. And that is why this is in here. Somebody can fact check that if they want, but I'm pretty sure that's accurate. Pretty sure. Uh, but let's pop him out of the package here. Oh, I'm excited for a new Vader, guys. There it is. See you later. Vader, I can't remember my top 10 list from last year, but I believe Vader was pretty high on that list, as he should be. Uh, we'll see. Will he be on the top 10 list this year? That's uh, I'm excited to see that. But let's get off to the races. Let's look at these accessories first, then we'll dive into the man they call Vader. We get old Doc Hendricks looking just awesome. Looking awesome. Looks like he's ready for an Easter brunch. He's going to go visit the Easter Bunny. Got that nice white tie. Like I said, we'll build this guy. We'll put it all together. Stay tuned for that. And we do get two extra hands for Vader. And oh my gosh, what are we doing here, folks? There's no fists for Vader. How's he going to do one of those? You know what he used to bat guys' heads? Oh, I loved it when he did that. I guess you can do it with these, but it's not the same. I wanted some fists for Vader. One fist, that's all I want is a fist. Uh, but we do got the open V hands going on, which are also must-haves. And then you get the two gripping hands here. So it is what it is. Beggars can't be choosers. I'd rather have this than no Vader at all, that's for sure. But now we get down to old Vader. It is truly Vader time. And oh man, I love, I love Vader. I love big old Leon White looking really good here. 
it looks like Vader all day, and the big, big change on this one is uh, the prior edition of Vader's we've had. The mask has been removable. This is sculpted in. It's a sculpted in mask, which it's time. I, I'm okay with this. They could have very easily went to the well, just gave us a redone head sculpt and that mask, but they went the other extra hurdle there, and they gave us a new head. I really do appreciate that. The other big thing here is the pinless joints. They gave us pinless joints. So we always talk about the greatest hits line. And we're seeing Mattel now uh, sneaking things in. Maybe it's the Legends in the regular Elite line. Maybe it's the Legends wave. Maybe it is uh, the Greatest Hits line. Or maybe it is Royal Rumble, Survivor Series, WrestleMania. Pick your pay-per-view poison. They are mixing some things up and they are giving us updated versions of older ones. As We've got a very similar Vader in the past way back in the Elite line. It's basically the same figure here with improved articulation and an improved head. So it's similar, but different, but it's a way to sneak some of these things in, uh, which I think is making a lot of new collectors happy. Some older collectors like me, I'm happy because it's Vader, but I can see some people still being a little upset and saying, yeah, I'm passing my old ones close enough. And I understand that reasoning there as well. But the head looks absolutely fantastic. You know it's Vader. Uh, without being able to take the mask off, you know all day long, oh, it's Vader. He's got his jockstrap mask on. Uh, he's ready to go. He got the goatee going on in the orange. He got the crazy hairdo. It's just Vader all day long. He's got the open mouth. Absolutely love it. Just good. Good Vader here. Walking through the articulation. Of course, the arm's going to go all the way around for us. You got the old bicep cut. You do got the double jointed pinless elbows, as I talked about. Very, very tight elbows, but he does have them. Hands removable, of course. Got the old V hands. It is truly Vader time. He does got the little bracer down here. Of course, part of the glove. It looks like a separate piece, but those, if you do switch out the hand, be careful you don't lose those bracers there. Uh, he does have that. Of course, the waist turns. You do get the uh, ab articulation. A little loose, not terrible, though. Pretty free-flowing. And then it lets everybody know, once again, everybody take a shot when I say Vader time in this video, because it does say Vader time there once again. Uh, you do get the old Vader splits. I think that's about right. Get the thigh cut right there. Double jointed knees. Yes, they are not pinless, but they are double jointed. You got the big, big uh, knee pads on Vader here. Boot cut, and then the ankles back and forth, up and down. Always the weak spot in articulation. For the first time ever, I don't think we've ever seen this on a figure. You got the V on the back of his butt there. Of course, that means Vader time once again. Let's keep it going. Let's keep the Vader times rolling. Uh, but that does stand for v, v for Vader, as you can imagine. Uh, but really, really good, a good clean update, and it's always good to get a legend in one of these sub lines, like the pay-per-views. Of course, you know, you get Vader in the Legends lines, things like that. Um, it's nice to get it in one of the offshoot lines. Give it a little nod to the past, and then you get somebody new with Damian Priest, somebody in kind of in the middle, Brie Bella, and then a guy that's just been around forever, Rey Mysterio. I think it is a really good lineup uh, as a whole. But let's see, does Vader fit on a ringside collectible stand? That's always a million-dollar question. See if he fits here, and he fits like a glove. Use discount code KYLE. Save yourself 10% at Ringside Collectibles. Looking really good for Vader right there. Now we're going to do some Vader comparisons. Let's get all the Vader army out here. Let's have a Vader party. And I guess we'll start with the one here. Of course, this is the one it's kind of based off of. There's, of course, some differences here. You have the V on the back of the new one. You don't on this one. But it's Vader time on both of them. Same kind of thing. This one does have the fist. Oh, man, where's the fist over here? But we do have the fist with this one. This one does have the removable mask where this one does not. That is the biggest difference. Of course, this one does come with the Mastodon helmet. We do not get that with this Vader. You know, some of you guys may know off the top of your head. I'll look it up after this video, but I'm sure somebody will tell me in the comments. Did he have this on his debut in the WWF? I feel like he did, but I might be wrong. I might be wrong. He might not have. Uh, but, of course, this will fit on here. Yes, it will. So if you have an extra one of these from the Legend set, you have an older one, whatever, you could theoretically move this over here if you are uh, so inclined there. So you can do that. Or you can put it back on this one. But, of course, that is Vader. Very similar, but once again, very, very different. But we got more Vaders to talk about. Of course, we got the old Caped Vader, one of the guys that helped usher in Cape Season many, many moons ago. Uh, you got Vader right there. Very similar, of course, once again with the removable uh, mask there. This one does have the black mask as well. As There was a variant with the black mask, if you guys remember back to that. And then, as of recently, of course, the Vader, uh, the Legend Series Vader from last year. I had to get two of those because of the different heads and all that kind of stuff. Uh, I just couldn't pass up not having two Vaders in here. So quite the Vader party right here. I can't remember on the channel, did we do a top five Vader? If not, I'm going to need to add that to my list. Uh, because, of course, you have these. You have the OSFTM figure. You got the Jax figure. I feel fairly certain we already did a top five Vader. But who knows? Like a lot of these lists, as time goes on, the years go on, 
you got to update these lists. And now we got a new Vader mixed into the fold here, and I'm here for it all day. I don't know if we're going to get another Vader after this. Is there really any more Vaders that we're going to get? So if you're on the fence about getting Vader, you should probably jump on this one because it could be your last chance for quite some time. You guys know me. I'm for more Vaders every single day. Give me a Vader Ultimate Warrior in every single series, and I'll just die a happy man. But that's not quite practical. But Vader looking good. I'm here for it. I do love this figure. Very, very cool. But let's say you guys out there in YouTube land, you picking up this Vader. You good with this one? You good with some of these other ones? Let me know in the comments down below. Of course, you made it this far. You might as well like the video. Always give it a thumbs up. Always helps the channel. And don't forget to subscribe to the channel and hit the old notification bell in case you do miss a video. That's a way to keep you on track of what's going on here on the channel. As things do move fast, as you guys know. Don't forget about the Patreon link in the description below where you can get early access to videos like this, bonus content, uh, giveaways, Q&As, you name it. There's a lot going on on the Patreon every single day, and I'd love to have you a part of it. And best of all, like I always say, you do support the channel. You can also support the channel at ProWrestlingTees.com. Search Kyle Peterson, and don't forget to follow along on social media. Sir Paul 64 is where you'll find me on Twitter, Instagram, the underscore Kyle underscore Peterson. So for the man they call Vader... It truly was Vader time. I am Kyle, and I'll see you guys all real soon.